Hello everyone, I'm Extra Cheesy 87 and this is Let's Play Tales of Vesperia Part 39! In the previous video we continued our cross-world tour now that we have access to a whale. We're uh, trying to do a little side quest. We're looking for Kaufman, who may or may not be here in Torum Harbor. Also, we're looking for some cabbage. I don't really know where I'm getting the cabbage from. Hey, do you know how to make cabbage? No? This is not cabbage. I mean, I know it's not going to be in here, but I guess I'll check. I mean, it's not even... It doesn't even show up in here to... For me to even pretend I can find it. Cabbage? You and Mefford sell any cabbage? Okay, it's fine. I'll just, I'll just be cabbageless. This is a 0% cabbage run. Yuri, do you have a new weapon? Wait. Because that dude said we could make a new weapon, but I... What? Apparently it's not for you. Apparently it's only for her. What? No. I don't I don't want you to use this. Let's change an art, but yeah, this is what you already got equipped. Okay. Goodbye. You got any new info? No? Okay. Oh wait, what about your special things? You got any thing over here? Panacea bottle. Goofy glasses. Goofy glasses. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Despite how it looks, you won't be able to act like a dog with it. Okay. The Don died. That shakes at the balance of the guild. Tries market fortunes. Markets control will weaken. Yeah, but then you're going to get under the Empire's influence and then they're going to assign a Magistrate and he'll be like, yeah, the Magistrate, you know, he does burn a child alive in the middle of the town square on every Friday, but there's nothing we can do to stop this. It's his right as Magistrate. And Flynn will be like, oh, there's no law that says you can't burn a child on Fridays in the middle of the town square for no reason other than when the Magistrate wants to. Sorry. Actually, he said he didn't burn the child alive in the middle of the town square where all people could see him. And, you know, if he says he didn't do it, then, well, we can't prove anything. Where am I looking? Wait, where was the Fortune's Marketplace? Not Torum Orphanage. I don't care about them kids. It's locked. I use this place over here. The Shagathan flowers all withered and died. They're still there. You're the ones who destroyed the Blastia here, weren't you? Yeah, that was me. I see, the reason for these flowers blooming like that was the air imbalance and the Blastia you destroyed? And the Colosseum, too. You heard what the man in the boat said about the fish around there, right? I looked into it and it was all due to the Blastia, so I did what I had to do. You're not mad. I'm plenty mad. But it's in the past. I hate arguing about things that have already happened. I feel like she might be too understanding. It's sad to see a flower bloom with all its might and then wither. Okay, you're actually doing your job? What a crazy concept! Having a travel permit is Fortune Market's right, as is our responsibility. Since you sealed off the roads, I guess you're okay with our cargo shipment. It's not going to the capital. That's not what I'm saying! Just like Nordopolica, what gives the knights, protectors of the people, the right to oppress them? Uh, I don't know. The Imperial Knights don't need your permission to do what needs to be done. I can see you're not going to reach an agreement like this. Now, if you would please let me pass. I mean, I guess it depends. Are they actually protectors of the people? Which people are they protectors of, you know? Because they don't really seem like there are protectors. Sadly, that's what, what that official said is right. 
Yuri Lowell, and you, aren't you with Altosk? What a happy surprise to be remembered by such a lovely lady. Perhaps Altosk is planning on sticking its nose into the business of Fortune Market? Nah, I just came to ask for your cooperation as a member of the Union. Our cooperation? Help us make the Union as strong as it used to be. Fortune's Market is one of the pillars of the Union, or ain't you? I'm sure you know how important the Union is for the guilds. We'll all just get trampled on them if we don't work together against them. This from someone who's been parading all over the world with Yuri for ha the past how many weeks? Altos is already mobilized, that's why I'm out here gathering information. He's even traveling as the Don's right hand man and watching the Imperial Knights. Alright, let's do it. We'll save a face for you and the Don. Ooh, what do you mean, the Don? <laughs> Does she know? And promote the rebuilding of the Union. Because, I mean, you're talking about rebuilding the Union, but you're also kind of talking like the Don isn't dead. And he's the reason why the Union has to be rebuilt. I'm glad you're as decisive as they say. It's an honor to be recognized as someone, as such, by someone so well-versed in negotiations with the Empire. Please, you flatter me. I'm just live long enough to get a little clever about these things. I hope I can do the same. Now, if you'll excuse me. Raven, I'm impressed at how well you dealt with an imposing lady like Miss Kaufman. Compared to the Don, she was nothing. Yeah, the Don was more impressive. Uh, don't just agree with me. Where's the... But Raven, you were awesome! Huh? But... Come on, let's go. Alright. You got a quest for me? Can I ask you a question? Does Fortune's Market deal in Spears? do, but if you'd like to sell that, you're going to be uh, better off directly talking to a store than talking to me. No, I don't want to sell it. I wanted to see if maybe I could see other spears that have been sold to you. Oh, she's still looking for a spear? You're still trying to find that spear of yours, aren't you? It seems you have some personal stake in this, but I don't think it's been sold to us. If any of our vendors receive valuable items, no matter what they are, I would have heard of it. And I haven't heard anything. I see. Well, I'll let you know as soon as it comes in gonna cost you, right? This will be our little secret, but the president's clothes make her look slimmer than she is. Okay. How do you how do you know what she looks like without her clothes on? Hmm? Asking for a friend? Is this is this knowledge you've gained consensually or illicitly? Don died. All right. Um, take me back to the other port. We will see if anyone there is wants our business. The line of service is that operation. What do you mean? What's the matter, repeat? Wolf. A war. That's your former nest. <laughs> This is like when we're in like episode 74 of the show and then they just like introduce somebody's evil twin. Say again? That's the dog Yuri was talking about. He used to rule over all the dogs and cats in the cap. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, it's the little wolf. Did I just... Am I having a stroke? What are they, what are they talking? Why are they talking about what we talked about this before? We have not talked about this before. It's been a while, old man. What? Don't think I've forgotten how you drove me out of the capital like a common stray! We settled everything fair and square in battle. You have no right to still hold a grudge. Oh, he had to go and take pity on me! Why didn't you just kill me you had the chance? Are they talking for the dogs? I mean, repeat, his mouth is moving. Haven't sucked so low as to raise a paw against a defeated loser. Me, a loser, you filthy mutt. I've never, uh, still never lost you in person. You want to fight mano a mano? Well, wouldn't it be doggo a doggo? You catch on quick. Wait. A physical confrontation wouldn't be a fair fight. Has to be a marking bat. Oh no. What do you mean? Pissing match. It's a battle to see which of us can mark more places that we go as our territory. A battle spanning the whole globe. Sounds pretty interesting. You sure about to keep up with it? I'm losing my fucking mind. That's my line. Sit around in your haunches. I'm going to leave you in the dust. 
Hmm. Repeat will catch up with him. Do I really have to take the dog on a pissing tour? Yeah, I hope so. How long are they going to be doing it? Oh, repeat, you're finished? Wolf? Where'd you go off to, Estelle? Do you go, Carol? What's this? You can use this to make notes of all the places where Repeat's marked his territory. You... I gotta keep, keep track of the dog piss? That's the sort of thing is what Captain Carol does best. We're counting on you. What? Aliens. Aliens. When you camp, that region of the field map is marked as Rapide's territory. Marked dog map. Big boss marks it. What? Big boss? Snake? Is this what you were doing? What? <laughs> I'm losing my damn mind. Marking terror back. What? <laughs> Atmosphere is nice enough. How do I win? Oh god, there's more people want our help. They say in the night we got some, we gotta catch us some delicious fatty fish in today. You should definitely sit at our end and experience our delicious seafood rice bowl. You got any cabbage? That sounds mighty tasty. You like seafood rice bowls, young man? Sure, I guess. Well, this is for you, cabbage. A recipe? It's a recipe for seafood rice bowl. Amazing. The harmony of sea and the land is a one whale of a feast. Let me pull it all out the stops of this dish. Can't read. I feel like I'm just keep saying the words wrong. My grandson's favorite food, you see. He's working the Imperial Knights right now, so I don't get to see him very much. He's right around the same age as you, young man. I wish I could give my grandson a taste of his grandma's home cooking, which I'm sure he's missing. I'm sorry, it must sound so selfish, but please take it if you'd like it. A knight around the same age as Yuri. That his family lived in Capo Nord, didn't he? Did he? News to me. Is your grandson's name Tatchet? Oh, I thought we were talking about Flynn. <laughs> How do you know that? I used to be a knight myself. I trained with Hatchet. Oh, that's the guy we talked to like 40,000 hours ago who said his family was here. I don't know why we couldn't do this when we came back earlier, but... Well, well. I have a message from him, actually. He told me to tell you what he's, he's doing well in Heliord. Yeah, he's working hard for the knights. I'm glad. Thank you for telling me that. I must give you something for your thoughtfulness. No, oh, you've already given us enough. We'll definitely use your recipe. Thank you. Eh, maybe. I mean, we haven't seen you in a while. That's my cue. Don't be hasty. The recipe for my transcendent seafood rice bowl, the Holy Grail of Hugin, is right here. And now it's yours. Time to set sail. Good call. Where are you going? You must take a recipe for a transcendent seafood rice bowl. It's the end product of my grueling and relentless research. Atmosphere is nice enough, but the town itself is sort of irritating. Listen to the influence of that magistrate's rule. Inn is full of him's history. His majesty, the emperor himself, has stayed here. So? Why do I give a shit where some dude slept? Welcome, but then that would be a lie, wouldn't it? The liner service is suspended right now. Why? Maybe you're suspended. From a job. All the people here are up in arms about the head of the guild's passing away. The Empire doesn't even have a sitting Emperor. Could things possibly get any worse? I don't have any problems with lauding the achievements of those that were lost, but there's no point grieving for them. Yeah, they just won't let me take my boat out. I'll just buy off the helmsman. What, surely a billion gold would be enough? Hmm? So, I mean, if a stay at the end is 300 gold, a billion, that's a lot of gold, man. I don't know if that'd be enough to just pay off a guy. Or I think that'd be too much. I feel like you could probably pay him off with like... 2,000 gold. Okay, so no scene for sleeping here. So, do I need to sleep in inns or do I need to camp outside? Now I think about it, they said make camp. Marking map. Wait. Who? Sound news its prosperity to the regular liners and trading ships. Of course, for ghost control was more than enough to strip this town of all its vitality.
I heard Don Whitehorse passed on. Did you know I took care of him once and he was just a little whippersnapper? It's true. Don was sent to his relative's house here in town for a while. He was only about five. I was 18. It's funny to think there was a time when I could lord it over the Don. Anything you need, fat. Okay, well, in case I need to sleep outside, give me some mats. You got any cabbage? Come back anytime? The death of the dawn will mean the weakening of the Guild Union. Now the Empire and this town will be in peace and security. Imperial Naval Ship set off for North Apollo well a little while ago. Dean rate is tough for a guy like me who's just trying to make an honest living to send a ship out to sea. Alright. It is a duel. We will go high or low. Low! Fuck! Continue. Low! But that's a that's still a fuck. How about how about um low? Does that count? It does. Okay. Didn't really want to do the math. Ah yes, easy. Low. And now for my last trick, Yuri Lowell. Fuck. That's almost as high old as you can get. Okay, one more time. Unless I lose this one immediately. No, one more good one. Everyone knows you can't end on a bad one. Have we, have we thought about having low? No, I did not mean to do high. I meant to do low. That, that's high, that's low, fuck. If the next one's low, I'll be mad because that means we would have won if I had just hit low the first time. Okay. Now, finally, for my last trick, Yuri Lowell! Fuck. My decisions don't matter. The chance is the same every time. That's not... Okay, it is low. Wait, 10 counts is low? Shouldn't, it, shouldn't that have been high? Okay. No, I will not continue. This game is, sucks. Okay, I guess I'll walk over to the magistrate, then we will leave. So what if one of those big, those big shots is dead? What's the big deal anyway? Someone younger is bound to come along and take the Don's place and leave the guilds anyway. I can't be bothered with something as trifle as this. Isn't that hot today? I'd say it's two. No, three times as hot as it usually is. That seems unlikely. It's three times as hot as it usually is. Even if it's usually like pretty cold, three times, you'd be dead. Oh, so I'd let anyone who had business here near the building. Oh, I'm near the building, so eat my ass. Then your brain's full of magic juice and the intel of K are gonna come and kill you. Got blasty of powder all over you. Alright. Um there are more burp in them. Mix foreign animals in the area that disrupts the local ecosystem. At least that's what the Todd blue haired cool bow mouth student said. Raise your kids better. They're saying weird shit. <laughs> Well, my thoughts exactly, buddy. All right, um, we can go pop by Heliord. Is this Heliord? I believe it is.
can land on the damn trees. That's crazy. But peaceful nights can ensure is only temporary. If people want peace for a year, they may rely on us. So let's talk through this. And then I'm going to have to pause the video because I don't have enough time to finish this whole video, but I want to at least record a little bit. Because I do need to try and get a pretty decent backlog of videos stocked up. No matter how much the world may change, there will at least be one thing that will not. What goes in the body must come out. Thus is the anima ver veritas, the truth of life. Please. It's been three days. Men work and women watch the house. Who made that rule up anyway? In my opinion, women should get out of the house more and be able to work. Based, based, based. Oh my gosh, she's so based. I hate male chauvinism. <laughs> My mommy and daddy really like each other. They kiss each other good morning, they kiss each other good night. They're always kissing. Mommy scolded me when I said that before. Why do you think, uh, why do you think, mister? Why would mommy get so mad? <laughs> I may not have the finest ingredients at my disposal, but I look at it as I have a chance to show what I'm really made of. Also, that reminds me, is the seafood bowl any good? Or did we not? Yeah, we did learn how to make it. Increases P defense moderately. Hey, do you need to increase your P defense? That might help you live out the weight. I got new clothes. I'm so happy. I got new clothes. I'm so happy. You're only poor because you think you're poor. Shut up. I'm fine as long as I think I'm satisfied. Yeah, but what about when you can't eat any money? You eat any food because you don't have any money. Well, I mean, you can't. I mean, you can eat money. It's just not very healthy. Liquor is the chief of all medicines. Didn't the people of old know how to put it best? All right, my work's done for the day. I know they say drink the booze, don't let the booze drink you, but hey, there's nothing wrong with a headache in the morning every once in a while. Every once in a while, I mean every day, and it's also why I have no money because I spend all my money on drink. You like maid cafes? My customers tell me maids are so moe. What does moe mean? Well, we'll tell you when you're older, I guess. Man, I don't trust this elevator, man. It sounds like it's gonna collapse on my ass. If you wanna pass, then pass. One must never turn back simply because the mountain is tall. As long as you keep putting one foot in front of the other, any mountain can eventually be crossed. Well, I mean, yeah. In theory. If I'm not going to become a noble, what's the point? I'm just going to do what I want. You mustn't facilitate about your life. All the thinking in the world won't ever answer the question, what is the meaning of life? Don't overthink. Only people who strive to live in the moment can find the answer to that question. Work here has gotten easier, but I've decided to put even more effort to it than before. How else am I to become a noble? They say there's no shame in being poor, but it's not easy to accept, is it? Of course, having faith in the notion you're only as happy as you believe can be a wonderful placebo. You know what's also a nice placebo? Being able to, like, afford food. Without it being a significant amount of your income. This is a facility for the Imperial Knights. There's nothing here for you. Wrong. I've served under a number of ineffectual superiors. The less effectual, the better they believe they are. Dealing with people like that is so difficult. Anybody in here? No. Some sort of knickknack left behind? Whoop, whoop. Is that just the exit? Yeah, I think that was the exit. I didn't know if maybe there was a hidden item. Welcome to Heliord, the newest digital that gets some new dialogue. Now your brain's full of blasty juice. If one desires power, they must work for it. They must work for it if it kills them. No one heard who said they'd accomplish something if it killed them has ever actually been killed, you know? I mean, most people who have power were born with it. Especially in a... Monarchy? And even the people who have power via money, most of them were born with it. It's called generational wealth, dummy. You, you all live in a society that deliberately does its best to keep the common person down to limit societal mobility. Therefore, most of the people with power didn't actually work for it. 
Hey, remember that time when, uh... I mean, you should at least apologize for trying to kill Estelle. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, sure. Bro, we have 68. What the hell? Where are we all this money? I guess we're fighting those high level monsters. Got some new weapons in? Did you actually get new weapons in or are you lying to me? You are lying to me. You have told a fib and for that you will be executed at dawn. As is our right. Because we are the ones with power. Sandals? Don't you already have sandals? I remember buying you sandals. What happened to your sandals? What do you mean they're better? One more hit to a regular attack, yes. I, mean, I think it's the thing I wanted that needed bear skin. And then I don't know what the fuck any of this shit means. Nobody knows how Patty works. Don't lie to me, okay? Pretty sure that sounds great. Okay, so do we talk to the dude over here? We'll talk to you two and then I think we're gonna save. And then I'm going to end the recording, but not the video. And then we'll come back probably tomorrow to finish the video. Because I do need a bit of, I wanna have a bit of a backlog for the upcoming holidays. Because I don't, I don't think I'm going to be able to record that much for the next like couple weeks. So I want to make sure I have some videos. But also at the same time, if we do have some days where there's no videos in December, just that'll be just because like I don't have any videos to upload. Or I'm trying to space out what videos I do have to make them last. So I'm going to do my best to try and keep uploads normal, but... If we do have any days without videos going up, that's just because I didn't get enough recorded. We'll see. Alrighty, so we'll be right back soon, kind of. Alright, we're back. Asking for a friend. What were we doing in this video? Anybody remember? I believe we were. it was main story time, right? Like, we're, we were done flying around and we were going to go to the Sands of Kogorth. Actually, no, no, we're going to Montake with our whale so that we can turn in that quest. Yes, yes, I remember. I am a master of all things in relation to the to the memories and the and the whatnots and the who's it's and the has has you been doings. I don't want to sail too close in case it like auto cutscenes me or something. All right, Montake. Is this Montake? Nobody knows. It's impossible to tell. It is. I want to talk to you. This is Mantake. You can rest easy here. Not really that easy because it's friggin' hot. No, why do you have a cutscene? Why? Who are you? Ding dong, I'm Cows. You can call me KZ for short. Nice to meet you. KZ, don't you think Cows is pretty short enough? No need to be so sassy, Flatty McChesterson. Flatty McChesterson? <laughs> I like the cut of your jib, KZ. Surrounded by idiots. What's the point of having big boobs anyway? They just get in the way. I guess. Uh, what are you doing in a place like this anyway? Good question. I guess you could say I'm helping out with some chores. Oh, that's nice of you to help your mother with the chores. I ain't got no ma-, ma. You, my mother, you crazy. Who said anything about that? I'm helping out the antlion man. Is the antlion man the name of a friend of yours or something? yep -a -roo, something like that, Miss Bouncy Bouncy. Bouncy, Bouncy. Why are all the children so fucking horny? What? 
What's wrong with the writer's room? Anyway, could you let me borrow an apple gel? If you do, I'll show you what I mean. Yeah, sure, whatever. Round and round we go where we stop on the I know. Catch! Is that what antlons look like? Hey, maybe. Oh ho ho, thank you, thank you! What? That was my friend, the antlion man. You can call him A to the L for short. I'm at a loss. But he took the apple gel, huh? I think so. I was too flabbergasted by all this weirdness to really notice. Yo, give the apple gel back, you... Give it back. Don't be so heartless, Flatty. You'll just have to take this instead. Here. No, this is, this is the worst trade deal in the history of trade deal. Milk is ten fucking gold. Freshly squeezed from the udders of yours truly? What the fuck? I don't want a kid's milk. I'm gonna kill you dead, baby. So dead. What? We delivered the book, just like you asked. Here, look. This is proof we finished the job. Kid, this is a bookmark. What the fuck is this? What am I supposed to mean with this? You could have bought this at the damn store. Oh, indeed. That's Novus is all right. Wow, thanks so much for your help. And here is the pay I promised you. If you ever need anything else, don't hesitate to call on Brave Vesperia. That shit was not worth the whale gas. Make me fly all the way across the planet, then fly back for yes, 3,000 gold? See you later. You know how much we have to feed Baloo? A symbol of their friendship. Or Bowel? No what is it? Yeah, Baloo's the what jungle kind of book. book it, was. it was just a normal book. Looked like it had something to do with economics. Did you look inside, Raven? So what if I did? I mean, it's fine, but. What if the client had hidden something private in the book? Yeah, like a nuclear bomb. Oh, it's no big deal. No harm done if it didn't get in the way of the job. An economics book, huh? That didn't sound too racy. It would have been funny if some romance novel was the proof of two guys' friendship. Really? Anyway, I guess we're done with our first job with the Union. Maybe they just commiserate over how their favorite waifu's in it or something. So this is what it's like to work in a guild. Shit sucks. Yeah. If we were the hunting blades, we'd probably get jobs to exterminate monsters. I mean, we could do that too. Fortune's market usually does stuff like transport products over long distances. So, Brave Asperia is in the delivery business then? Yeah, it sucks. We're the damn mailman. Well, we... Uh... <laughs> yeah, I agree, Repeat. Fuck that. We can think it over while we try out a few different kinds of work. Yeah, sure. We should be in the revolutionary business. We're gonna break this empire with our own two hands. Look, oh, finally get out of the house and walk around again. I thought I'd never see the sun. I mean, you could probably see the sun just fine. That bastard Kumar ran away. I was hoping I'd get to pound him good. I just stopped in here on Montec on my vacation. You guys here? Okay, I thought you guys were new. Is the ocean bigger than the lake? Much bigger and much deeper. The ocean is bluer than any lake and prettier, too. Fish live in the ocean, right? Where is it? Is it far from here? Yeah, it's a little far from here. Oh, man, I wanted to go see it. You can go when you get older. You can get on a big ship and go to other cities and see all sorts of stuff. Yeah. Uh, okay. The CCC with lots of fish, 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 many, many fish, many, many fish, many, many fish, many, many fish. Thank you, Mr. and Mrs. You know, save the damn town. I know, right? Fuck the knights. Guess we can get on out of here. Something like a massive bird. Big old bird. Massive, huge bird. I guess we can sleep here again. And we've already seen our, presumably the one cutscene for sleeping in Mantake, but I'll give it another shot. 
Is my canteen helping, man? I need to replay it for our benefit. Oh, I just thought I'd have a walk and check out the city a bit. They say there's a kidnap around here, you know? They do? Guy was playing with the kids. I feel like I've seen him around somewhere. Oh, okay. I was like, that seemed like a really random scene. Ah! Caught you red-handed, you scum. Stop in the name of the Imperial Knights! Okay. What, what if that dude was actually criminal scum? What if he was, what if it was like the one knight doing his job? Thanks for the help back there. Can you reproduce the move I used back in order? Pollock, a perfect, oh, this is that guy. I, wait. I, are you the, are you the dude that we're looking for? Whose wife, brother thing? That'd be a good way to attract your attention. Oh, wait, wait, no, 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 that was that random scene where we walked back into Nord Apollica and then Yuri learned, like, a move or something. I completely forgotten about that. I was thinking this was in reference to that quest we got in the capital. We were like, hey, do you want us to find your husband? She was like, nah, fuck that guy. You're the man with those kids down by the lake this afternoon, right? Ah, you notice. We're two of a kind, you know? Maybe fate brought us together. How do you know? I know you are. You're a lull. You're a man who had to get his hands dirty. Just like me. How do you... There's no way you should know you're you kill people. That's not fair. I hardly know anything about you. Fortunately, I don't think I can really have time for us to get all chummy. But just for tonight, I'll let you ask me one question. Besides my name, that is. Okay. Just tell me why. You've had to get your hands dirty. Let's just say my reasons are not the same as yours. I'm looking for the man who killed my swordsmanship teacher. I'm just purging the world of a few villains in the meantime. You don't mind murdering people along your quest? This little collateral damage, but it's who I am. It's who you are. Yeah, I identify as a murderer. <laughs> it's my it's my essence. It would actually be really rude to prevent me from murdering people. Maybe it's better even. You can still turn back. What are you talking about? I thought I told you, you only get one question. Well, I'm off. I hope that our paths don't cross again. Yeah, not too crazy about seeing you anytime soon either. I mean, we probably should kill the guy. I mean, maybe he's murdering the good people, but, you know, or the not good people. <laughs> you know what I mean. Alrighty, I guess we're, I guess we're done here. Kind of random, but what is? All right, did we? Have we gone back to other village since we got Baul? I don't remember. I know we went. We went here before we got Baul, but I don't think we've been here since. Did you guys do anything new? Well, at least rest here, if nothing else. Okay, these people are trapped in time. They never have new dialogue. Oh, wearing such unusual clothes. Maybe you're unusual. 50 gold, man. Crazy. Okay. I'll walk up to see if the Duke is there, even though if nobody else's dialogue is updated, there's probably nothing there, but we'll check just to be, just to do our due diligence. This is like the one place we haven't found any optional scene. Hey Sage, anybody got a really old key? I mean, I know a key that would work on that door. It's called Fireball. What about the dog? Maybe the dog's got a quest for us. Oh, yeah, it reminds me. We got that thing with Repeat, right? How the fuck that's supposed to work? I guess we have to camp outside for that? I don't really... I was just so random. Was like another dog showed up. It was like, I challenge you to a pissing match. 
I think they said make camp. So just resting in ends isn't counting? So like if I rest, does anything happen? Simple tent me. Cause like we got that map, but you can't, like you, it's a key item, but you can't use it, you know? Where was it? Anybody see this in map? I think it was a valuable. I, mean, I would presume it's a valuable that, or is it a consumable? No, I don't see it. Am I blind? That's possible. But I'm just, oh, there it is, marking. But like, you can't use the items, so it doesn't help. Maybe we got piss on every continent. Like, I don't even know if that's really what they want from me. I mean, presumably that's what they want from me, but I'm not entirely sure. Maybe I have to... I can't even use it because we are at full HP. This one's strong. Is it ready for anything? Dragon! Cease. Dragon! Moonlight has flickering blaze burn. Fireball! are you supposed to be in the party? Please do an attack. Wait, attack, attack, sir? I'm hitting the buttons and nothing's happening? Like, you won't do any arts. I and mean, now it's working. Okay, you learn skills that I don't know. I don't know what they do! We learned evade. That's cool. We have to use a tent for its account. I don't know. We might lose the pissing match. I know it's a sad thought, but frankly, I, I don't care. Get me out of here. So this is where Pharaoh is? Should be. I wasn't able to see him when we came to the desert, but I think this is where we can meet him. I hope nothing bad will happen. What if he suddenly attacks us? I can't make any guarantees. I don't think we'll have a say in the matter. That just means we need to do our best so nothing bad happens. Carol, are you okay? No, I'm not okay. I should go. Pharaoh sure did pick a bleak place to live in, don't you think? They say this area used to be covered in lush greenery. Who is they? Why did it turn into this rocky desert? Hmm, I don't know that much. Estelle, are you really going to meet him, even though you could be killed? Yes, I've already made peace with this decision. Also, couldn't she just cast one spell and kill him? You know, if, if it does come to that, in theory... She's like, first aid that does infinite damage. Rita, you've been acting a little funny ever since hearing Judy's story on the ship. Do you have a problem with meeting Pharaoh? I just think it'll be hard on her to hear what he has to say. But it's too late to turn back now. We've come this far after all. Okay, so we just walk up there, it's not like a dungeon or nothing? I guess we'll go ahead and do it. So we're kind of like 
Well, I think we're at around 45 minutes, so... Maybe he's off somewhere taking a nap. Pharaoh, you are here, aren't you? Wake up! I'm really far away! Ah! He's a big one. Insipid poison. You appear before me at last. So you are here. Is that how you greet all your guests, Pharaoh? By calling them names? For what reason have you come to me? Surely you are aware that I could end your existence with a mere thought. <laughs> you talk pretty big, don't you? Well, if you really want to fight, I'd hate to disappoint you. Yuri, no! Everyone, please wait! Estelle! Pharaoh, please hear what I have to say. Does death hold no fear for you, little one? For you gaze now into the mouth of death itself. Bro, you're a chicken. I am afraid, but like, I'm literally. even more afraid of dying without knowing who I really am. Bellius told me I needed to meet you to learn about my destiny. I have to know just what that destiny is. I understand that I am a threat to the Entelikea, but you said that I am a poison to this world. What is this power I have? Just who is the child of the full moon? If it is true that my existence cannot be tolerated, then it's okay if I have to die. But I at least deserve to know why it is I have to die. Please tell me, I beg of you. There was a time when this was a verdant land, sheltered by the blessing of an air crene. So there was an air crene here. But what happened? Why did it change? What you see are the results of too much air and its aftermath. As to why the air ran rampant, the answer lies with the poison brought by the child of the full moon. Huh? The power of the child of the full moon stimulates the air crane more than any Blastia. Huh? Blastia convert air into energy by way of a formula. So if Estelle can use her healing arts without the aid of any Blastia, she must possess a formula in her very being that lets her convert air into energy. Judith was searching for Blastia that used a particular kind of formula. So, this special formula Estelle has must also consume massive amounts of air. I mean, she could just not use her powers anymore. Which causes the air crene to become more active and pump out more air than they should. I had hoped my hypothesis would have been wrong. Then I... It is as she has said. With each use of her power, the child of the full moon uses far more air than the Blastia. In so doing, the imbalance of air in this world is furthered. For the planet, such an existence can only be called a poison. So you just wipe it out then? Little quick to judge, aren't you, Pharaoh? I mean, you could have been like, hey, your power is evil, don't use it anymore. And then she'd be like, oh, okay, I didn't know that. That's crazy. <laughs> Another problem that could be solved if people just use their words. This problem concerns the entire planet, and she is its cause. To do nothing would be unparalleled folly. If the problem's with Estelle, then it's for us to solve. That's right. We can't let anyone else handle it. The gravity of this situation is beyond your grasp. You don't honestly think that everything's gonna be all sunshine and rainbows if Estelle dies, do you? I mean, won't just somebody else become the child of the full moon? It would at least eliminate one problem. It's not like she's the... F I mean, presumably she's not the first. You know, it's been like a passed down, right? Pharaoh, at Heliord I stopped myself. And again at Dawngrest, I stopped you. Like, I don't know if it's one of those situations where there's always a child of the full moon, or if it's only every once in a while, someone's one. What I thought was a Blastia turned out to be a human. Before I realized it, I had lost my way. I never thought this child could be as great a danger as you had said. And due to your confusion, I granted you the time necessary to see things as they are. As a result, my sister Bellius is now lost to me. Enough. This power will bring only ruin. Hmm, not sure I understand all this, but if her power's the problem, why can't she just not use it? 
uh, because it's also bad, even if you don't use it, I guess. There can be no guarantee she will not try to use the power. Yeah, but that doesn't mean you just execute someone. That's true. She does have trouble turning a blind eye to things happening around her. That's because she didn't know the power was going to destroy the world, dummies. Someday she will surely use her power to help someone. However, as long as she keeps that spirit of compassion, she cannot only be seen as harmful. She is not like Ablastia. I know that you can feel the difference. Compassion alone will not save this world. He doesn't know he's in a JRPG. <laughs> the fool. Listen, Pharaoh. I get that you've thought all this through with everybody's best interest in mind. Well, maybe not everybody. But why doesn't that world have a place for Estelle? It is sometimes necessary to remove a part to save the whole. I don't buy that for a second. What makes you so high and mighty that you're the one to decide who gets cut and who doesn't? We have endured the anxiety of existence for far greater a span than you can conceive. Such words mean nothing from those who call this world home for but a fleeting moment. Pharaoh, please listen. I mean, he's got points. But realistically, it should be a... Hey, this is our ultimatum. Use our powers again and I will fucking kill you. Which is fair. But, you know, never explaining anything and then trying to kill someone, even though they have no clue what's going on. This furthers the animosity between humans and the monsters. And it's really silly when you can talk. And if it was a situation where Pharaoh can't talk, it would make sense, but he can talk. And he could have just explained things at any time. The important thing is finding a way to stop the excessive air, correct? We still have time left to search for such a thing. I mean, I don't know if we can do that. Judith. And if... If the effects of Estelle's power reach their absolute limit, I will kill her as promised. You should have no complaint with this. But like, I think it's a it's a decent enough conflict where Pharaoh's not wrong. It's just kind of presented before this in a little silly manner, which is like, just explain the problem. Hey, Judith, are you serious? I'm sure Brave Vesperia will come up with something before that happens, right? What? I... um... Yeah, yeah, of course we will! Well, score one for Judith. So that settles it. If we humans are to blame for Estelle's problem and bringing on the apocalypse, then it's up to us to make things right. And I especially do like the line earlier about... You know, since the Insula K, I have to live in the world for longer. You know, the consequences are weighing on them more heavily. It's kind of interesting. If we give it all we've got and still blow it, then you can slow roast us on a grill for all I care. Since this is all, I mean, this is basically like a climate change metaphor as far as I'm concerned. So, you know, the Insula K are the ones who have to live with the impacts of excessive... You know, use of the Blastia, which are, you know, modern technology and industry, basically. You have changed. If you were still as before. Have I? That is nice to hear. Very well. Be ever mindful, though, that time is fleeting. Wait! If the formulas are causing the excessive air, then there must have been times when this happened in the past. I mean, the Blastia were a product of an ancient civilization. There exist those who have inherited the sins of the past. If any yet can speak of what occurred in the days of old, it is they. Okay. Mr. I'm old. I'm not that He's old. Gone. I can't tell you about that. See ya. Bye-bye. Um, I... All right. You get a chuckle for Thanks that. Thanks for everything, Yuri. Judith. You too. No problem. But hey. What? It's okay if I have to die? What the hell was that? I'm sorry. I mean, if it's... I have to die or the world dies and everyone with it, I mean... It's the correct decision. I don't want to hear that again. I'm sorry. Because if the world dies, she kind of dies anyway, so...
Man, I was really worried there for a while. We were pretty lucky that bruiser was in a mood for conversation. Poor Raven's heart can't handle that sort of stuff anymore. You're pretty gutless for an old man. Jeez, Patty, you've really got nerves of steel. If he really wanted to kill Estelle, he'd have attacked us immediately. And that's what I can't figure out. I imagine Pharaoh was conflicted as well. He hid himself from us in the desert to see just what we were made of. Huh. Maybe he wasn't as bad as we thought after all. Dude could still learn to use his words. You might be right. I get the feeling he'd do whatever's necessary when push comes to shove. That sounds like you. Maybe. But what are we gonna do, Yuri? You heard what he said. Oh uh, yeah, we just have to solve all the world's problems. Should be easy. We're going to fix the problems the air is causing. And that's all. Very easy. Hey Yuri, ask him for a friend. Uh, how are we gonna do that? That's easier said than done. We're pretty much at square one, you know. I presume we're gonna go talk to the Christians. Mm-hmm. And no one wants to be at square one. There's no doubt that the formulas are related somehow to the air getting used up. We need to find out about the ancient Blastia, and if they went berserk or not. If we had that kind of information, it might give us a clue. Ask those who have inherited the sins of the past about the days of old. Or at least that's what Pharaoh said. The Critia were the ones to invent the Blastia. In other words, we need to ask a Critian who is still familiar with the old stories. Yeah, the Critia are often credited as the inventors of the Blastia. There isn't much left of the Critian city of Timza, though. It'd be a lot easier if there were more cities. The hidden city of Miorzo. Unfortunately, it's hidden, so we can't find it. It is far older than Temza, and the birthplace of the Kritya. The first Blastia also originated there. Really? Well, what do you know? You wouldn't happen to know where this Miorzo might be, would you, darling? Hmm. I've heard that name somewhere. What the fuck? What does that mean? What is hum? There was a Kritian in Ospio. I'm sure they mentioned something about it. Do you think that person might still be there? Well, there's no harm in checking it out. Judith, are you coming with us? I should. We still have the issue of the guild to straighten out. So, to Ospio then. Alrighty, that's just about in time. Okay, we'll do this real quick. All that stuff about the balance of the world is pretty hard to take in. Yeah, I hadn't even been outside the capital until just a while ago myself. And now we're here talking about the fate of the world. You never know what life will bring you. But isn't that what makes it interesting? I don't think we can afford to be that relaxed anymore. Estelle doesn't have much time left. What's the harm? It's not as if acting all serious is going to solve anything. Besides, Estelle will notice if we look all worried. Well, maybe so, but... We won't forget what Pharaoh said. Relax. I know, it's just... Estelle's got it the worst. If we get too down about this, we won't be much help to her. Exactly. Can I save in the air? Nope. Okay. Well, we'll go ahead and save. But that's a that's a neat scene. I mean, the story it's got it's got some interesting parts. I think it's just a little sloppy at times, and then sometimes the pacing is off. But the core of the ideas are pretty good. Like, the base level conflict between what the technology gives, but also it might kind of destroy the world eventually. This is interesting enough. And the monsters definitely, you know, things would be a bit easier if maybe they were... Um, you, you just would tell people that to blast you are bad, but... Because the vast majority... Because even if it is like, oh, some of the people know... The vast majority don't, so it's kind of hard to really blame humans all that much. But alrighty. So next time we will, I don't know, fly around some and then head to Aspio. Should be a fun time. I'm ExtraShoes87. Stay tuned for the next part. And bye, guys.